Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Matrix Orbital MX212 USB display. What is included in this package is the MX212 USB LCD unit, some software and drivers, and to the right here I've got a number of accessories. The LCD bus, a ribbon cable and template does come along with that. This is just plugged directly into the back of the unit and controlled with the software. For example, maybe your system reaches a certain temperature, the light will go on. Maybe you have an email, the light will go on. It's just an indicator. Also included are two thermal probes. These go connected in the back of the unit as well. Now maybe you want to have a USB USB connection internally going from the unit to your motherboard. Well, they have included this internal USB cable. This product is currently available in five different color formats. White backlit, green backlit, inverse green, inverse red, and inverse blue. You also got a couple of different faceplate color options, black, beige, or brushed aluminum. However, currently the brushed aluminum is not available with this seven button keypad you see here. At the very left here you can see that there's directional keys. At the right there's an F1, F2, and an enter key, and in the center is the LCD screen. Screen. At the back of this unit, they have already pre-installed an external USB cable. This goes right from the unit, right to the back of your computer system, into the USB port. Right here, you can connect up to four thermal probes. Also, three fans can be connected right there. However, if you connect any fans to this product, you're going to need an additional power source, and that's applied from the floppy power connector, and that goes right here. Remember earlier I mentioned the LED bus? Well that's it right here. They also supply the ribbon cable with that. One end of the ribbon cable goes plugged into the unit right here and the other end into the bus. Also, if you do not want to have this external cable going outside the case and you have a motherboard so you can plug it internally, well there is this internal USB cable and that goes plugged right into here and then you plug the other end into your motherboard. Once you have the hardware installed, next install the software. This particular software program is called LCDC. It's a very small but powerful program that has thousands of options, way too many for me to cover here today, but I will touch upon some of the key aspects about it. First of all, the interface on this. It's very simple. At the very top here, you've got a start and stop button. This will start and stop the actual display. Next to that, you've got a virtual display. Now, this will show you here on the screen what's showing on the LCD. It's good when you're testing out screens not to look at the actual display but use this to show you what is actually happening. Now further down here you've got a screen builder. I'm going to come back to that. One of the first things you need to do is configure and test the unit. They have an auto detect in this particular area that's extremely simple to use. Three steps and you've got this thing set up. Now there's some other options here you might want to come back to like email and so on and so forth but it is very very simple to set this thing up. Now going back to screen builder here where it gets really exciting because you've got all the different screens that you will see in the actual LCD display and all the events associated with it. Also, with each of these screens, you can have a name, you can have duration of the screen, you can have how fast it is, frames per second, maybe you want transitions, and there's all kinds of other options as well. Now, going back to the screens that are default here, you've got a couple logos at the top, you've got a clock, you've got email information, hard drive information, memory information, you've also got other information here about your network, maybe you want information about the weather, Winamp, motherboard monitor, it just goes on and on and on. Now these are the default ones that come already installed. You can install many, many more. What separates this product from a lot like it on the market is the fact that this is USB, which means it's plug and play, which means it's extremely easy to set up. Also, the software that is included is very powerful. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. Until the next time, take care.